All of my patterns encourage users to do a pre-cut strip and cut from that. The fabric is folded in half, so we're cutting two pieces at a time. All you need to do is line up the edges and then use a 28 millimeter rotary cutter to cut on your curve. These templates are great because the back sticks to your fabric, allowing easy turning and maneuvering without losing any accuracy on your cut. And it's as simple as that. Here we have our A shape. So now we will flip our um, template, keeping things folded in half, flip our template to conserve fabric and cut out the rest of our curved pieces. Here we are moving a little more quickly. We get these great scraps to use for later and we have our A shape. The D shape is cut out in the same manner and is just as simple. After placing my A and D shapes right sides together, I glue based my pieces. I found that this is the easiest way to conquer curves and have included this technique in each of my patterns. Many quilters choose to pin or not baste at all. These curves are very simple and very slight and so it really works out no matter what your favorite technique is. Sewing these curves is such a breeze. You're just going to use a scant quarter inch seam all the way down the curved edge. Once you get to the bottom, you'll find that your needle goes right between the valley created by your two pieces of fabric. Then press your seams toward the D shape. You'll repeat the same steps on the other side using a scant quarter inch seam all the way down your edge. Once you come to the stitches you've previously created, you'll just sew right on top of them, open up your unit, and then press again towards the D shape. These are the units that will be used in all of my shorthand patterns. Starline is my most recent release, also seen in Quiltmaker magazine. Ancient Words. Compass Course, which uses pre-cuts in addition to the shorthand template. And Cookie Cutter, which can actually be downloaded online for free so that you can practice with this template before moving to more advanced patterns.